Hi guys, it's Denma, and as you can see, I have a different background today. I am pet sitting for my parents. They had to go to Duke, or not Duke, that's me. They had to go to the VA in Durham, which is right across from Duke, um, for a follow-up appointment for my dad. So I am doggy sitting right now, and they're asleep. But this video today is a unboxing slash review type of deal. It's not sponsored in any way. I've been wanting to try one of those hair straightening brushes. Um, as I saw one that I've seen on TV ones, but I never trust that stuff because most of the time it doesn't work. So I went on Amazon and I found one. It's from Miro Pure. And it is a two inch, oh, two in one heating and ionic hair straightener brush. Built-in double ionic generators give you significantly more shine and straight frizz-free hairstyles. Five heat settings for all hair types with LED display from 150 degrees Celsius to 230 degrees Celsius. And in parentheses it says 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It does have a 30 minute automatic turn off, so if you forget and leave it on, after 30 minutes it will cut itself off. The temperature max is 450 degrees and it is a 100 to 240 volt universal voltage. Right there, that's all I read is right there. This was $29.99 and it had a promotion going on. I'll try to link it below if it's still going on. Um, where you get like half off of one product, something else, like another half off thing. Or you get this free four hair bristle brush. So I went for the bristle brush because it said it was a detangling brush. Um, and wow, that brush, I don't have it with me, it, I'll link it below, it was $12, I think $12.95, or $11.95, it works so good, it's got the, the detangling bristles in it, but each bristle is surrounded by the regular bris brush bristles that don't detangle, and it's wide, it's like this wide, so when you're brushing your hair, it does not pull, and it gets the tangles out with one or two strokes, because I have like a little bit of a tangle right back here where my bun is and I had the part that's on the bottom of the top and it had a little tangle there. It works. I, I will never get another brush. This work, I guess it, I've seen brushes that are like the wooden ones that are in this weird funny shape. They're supposed to be tangling brushes. This one was really good and my mom, I call it, she has like a bird's nest is what I call it. I was joking with her where she has her barrette in and she's like, your brush works really good. Like it does, though, man. It doesn't pull your hair, it doesn't yank anything out, it just gets the job done. So, I'm happy with just that brush. So, and that was free. So, now I'm gonna try the straightener. I washed my hair a couple days ago. I never blow dry my hair unless I'm dyeing it, like, because I have to bleach it and then dye it, like, weird colors. And I'll blow dry it in between because you have to usually apply the color dye on dry hair. But otherwise, I just let it air dry and just keep it in a bun. It takes usually a day, day and a half to fully dry because my hair is really thick. Especially back here, and it's long, and it's, it, I'll probably go past my shoulders. I'm going to hopefully get a cut next month. I want to get like a, a bob, that messy, like wavy bob style, and I'm going to get it dyed blonde so I can bleach it, or not bleach it, but I can dye it whatever color I want when I want. Like the thing, I'll always get like highlights or something. Because I got like my little bit of blonde, it's not going to show up here, but the lighting over here is different. Um, but yeah. So anyway. I had to switch over here because the plug is over here. I recorded another video over there, but I can't reach the plug outlet over there. And I don't feel like climbing over the sofa to get to it. This one's just right here, so we're gonna try this out and see how it does. So it comes wrapped in plastic. It's not vacuum sealed or anything. Well, I guess it kind of is, but let's open this bad boy up. Maybe. Ooh. I'm not used to it before. I've been holding out for the past few days for my hair completely dry because it doesn't say on the back whether you can use it on damp hair or not. So I didn't want to risk it. And I didn't want to open it up if I couldn't use it. I wanted to save it for y'all. So we'll see how it does. I don't know if there's anybody. I haven't looked on YouTube to see if anybody else has reviewed it. But a lot of the um, reviews on Amazon were very positive. So. I went with that instead of YouTube. YouTube, I come if I'm doing makeup, if I'm getting a palette, I'll go on YouTube and look at a bunch of different people review it before I get it, if it's expensive. 
but or if I'm like on the fence about it. All right, so here's how it comes. It comes in like a little velvet type bag. comes to the heat glove, which I probably won't use. I used to work at a pizza restaurant, and you just yank the pizzas out from the oven on the pans with like a wash rag. So you're kind of used to heat, plus fire does not burn a dragon, you know. Put it in the comments if you know where I got that reference from. 10 points to you, Glenn Coco, for getting that reference. So there's the user's manual. And then it's kind of like, a, I guess, a quick guide. Steps for straightening. Mm. It's pretty easy. Basically, you section off your hair and go piece by piece. I'm not going to section it off with clips or anything like that. That's just too much work and this chick's lazy. So, um, and then, oh, yeah, on the back it had something interesting. It has a hairbrush guide and it shows what brushes are good for what thing, like what kind of hair type they're good for, what kind of effect they do, like large natural round brushes good for bounce shine and volume a flat paddle brush is good for rough dry hair and detangling etc etc it's pretty interesting so that's pretty cool um if you guys want to close up um, see i don't know if it'll focus very well where's my lens see you can't see it's blurry but if you guys want like a detailed thing i can type it down below just let me know i'm sure i didn't know like there were so many different brushes for different things. Like I thought, I knew there was like a, a regular like brush, just to brush your hair, and then like a detangling brush, and then like some people tease their hair with combs. That's all I was thinking about. But there's very much, very a whole bunch of different ones. That's kind of interesting. So my ADD kicked in. So let's see what this, how long it takes for this to heat up. I have 30% left on my phone to record. So all right, so. Another uh, thing is bad boys in plastic. Making sure it's a trash can so we don't have a little... And this does have a Velcro strap so you can rewrap the cord up. Let's see if I can just pull it out. Like, oh no, I can't. I didn't want to like, unravel the whole thing. I just want like one little loop or two free. But it comes with a long cord. It's had to be at least three or four feet. So it gives you a lot of work room. So if you have like a salon or you need a little bit more room to work with. Let's see. I'm gonna need some more room to work with. I might as well just screw it. Cord is, yeah, it's probably a yard long, which is three feet. Looks like. So go ahead and plug it in. It's just got the two prong. Uh, one is bigger. I don't know the specific name, but the one side is bigger than the other. So. Oh. Okay. The air conditioner beat. I don't know what beat that means. This plug over here, we have a um, one of those things that gives you more. It's a two, obviously the universal two plug outlet. But we have in one plug, we have thing that gives you six plugs instead of um, just the two and it kind of gets loose sometimes so I had it loose. This thing went off like sometimes you gotta be careful with this house the fuses and mowing them so all right so we have the power button here I guess I should look at the actual um, this button the bottom one is the power and the temperature adjustment this is the iconic our ionic, iconic, ionic button, which I don't know what that means. Help me, y'all! I don't know what I, I like when it comes to like beauty stuff. What it does? Hey, okay, step one: turn on the ionic button. All right, the blue LED light will come on. Stay on. This reduces frizziness to make hair and make hair ready for straightening. And oh, I guess you can brush your hair with the ionic function. So you get a tangle and a prep it beforehand. And then the next step, you want to turn your heater on for the straightening function. Hold the heater button on for three seconds, and then it'll be flashing. Once it stops flashing, it will be ready to use. 
and then you start straightening. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair with the ionic setting. Um, just make sure there's no tangles or anything. I do have some um, fruit teeth, triple nutrition, deep nourished, dry damaged hair stuff, but I don't know if that would be good because it's kind of oily. bristles are really wide in the middle where the heat's going to be coming out. You can see the ones where the heat is going to be coming out are have red and or like a pink color in them. So I can hear like a little buzz. I don't know what the ionic, maybe it's like got some kind of like static stuff on. I don't know. It's still like a tiny bit damp right there, but it should be alright. It's not like Yeah, I can hear like a little humming. I don't know what that's about, but I guess it's to help frizz. That's what it says it is. But my hair really doesn't get frizzy. It's not really oily. This is just how it looks when I take it down out of the bun. And like, I don't want to get this layered because it's just, it's really fluffy when it gets to the bottom. And I literally cut my hair last month. I cut it up to here. And I sheared it off with a comb that has a razor blade in it. And it's grown this much and it's still this thick. Ow. Okay. So I brushed it enough, I think. Hold that on. Alright. Held it on now that it's flashing. Let's see what it says about degrees. Just first do the under layers of your hair and then do the top of your hair levels. Okay, here we go. It's temperatures. Level 1, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, suitable for first time reuse for you thin, fine hair or bleached hair. Level 2, which is 340, is suitable for dyed or dark color hair. And it's already ready. Wow. Super quick. Level 3 and level 4 are 380 and 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Suitable for normal or slightly curled hair. Level 5 is 450 degrees. Suitable for thick and very curly hair or difficult to style hair. I'm going to go with level 3 and 4. So, let's see, 410. Okay, yeah. Alright, it was already at level 3, but I'm going to go with 410. If I need to, I'll calm it down. I mean, seriously, it's already stopped flashing, so that means it's ready. Ooh, I don't know if you can see the steam. I'm just gonna brush through the top because I'm not gonna do what they say. You don't want to go too fast because you do want that heat to set in a little bit and straighten. Let me get see if I can get a little closer. I'm not expecting it to get like pencil straight, but it is straightening it out. I can make it up. A second, the heat it is straightening a little bit, but. that hot where you need glove, honestly to me. If you're sensitive to heat, then maybe you'd want to use the glove, but... So in the time it takes you to brush your hair, you can have it relatively straight. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it's gonna get too much more straighter than that without like a product on it, like a straightening oil or something. Especially because it's a little bit back here, a little still damp. So you can see, but just like the way that I did it, and I didn't section it off or do anything fancy, you can definitely see where it's curly and a little, little poofy and wavy compared to that. So I mean, like I said, I'm not expecting it to be stick straight, but that's I don't mind this. This is good. This is what I was expecting. So, and I'm sure if I actually took the time and actually separated it out a bit more it would work a lot better like the directions say but ain't nobody got time for that today yeah. it's pretty cool and I did notice that the parts of my hair that are wet get a lot hotter so it still straightens, but it that it, I don't know why it gets hotter when it, it's wetter, but it does. So curly, mostly straight, straight enough. So I think if you have like really curly hair, I don't know if this would work for you, like really really curly hair. Mine's like just naturally wavy because I keep it in a bun all the time. After I brush it, after I get out of the bath, I put it right in the bun, and that's how it gets the, the waves. There's nothing special about that, but, I mean, it does straighten. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. It's not compared to, like, a salon straightening, because I have had my hair straightened by a salon, and I don't like it like, that straight. I like a little bit, a little bit of oomph at the end or something, but this is nice. I like this. You can see in the back, those pieces are wet, because it looks like, it looks oily, but it's wet. Yeah, they stay really hot, and they're steaming, so. I guess that's okay to use on damp hair, but definitely want to wear a glove for that if you are sensitive to heat. And it's not really, like, making my hair frizz up at all. There's not, like, any breakage or looks like any damage. I mean, I shed really bad because of my anxiety, so I have like a few stray hairs, but that's just that. It's not the brush, it's just me. So. I would say it's pretty straight compared to what it was. So, I just made a mess. So, yeah, it, it works. And I think for the price point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. down before I put it back in the box. I think the price point definitely, yeah, it's pretty, it's worth it. It's a nice little silhouette to have if you want like, not like stick straight hair, but like mostly straight hair. Like I said, if you have really, really wavy, like curly hair, I don't know if it'll work, but I have very thick hair and it works. It did this, so, and my hair is, it takes a while, it's stylist. To straighten so because I do 
section it off and do little bits at a time and I think it would work better if you did it like that, obviously, but yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm getting ready to put my hair back up because I can't stand it, like, hanging on the back of my neck, but yeah, if y'all want a little, little bit straighter here for the day, definitely, by the time I get done brushing my hair, I have straight hair, or straight enough for me. If you want straighter, then maybe look for the brand. I don't know if this is like a high-end brand or not, honestly. So, you get what you pay for. Like I said, I'm happy with it. So, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I can try to answer them. You can also contact the seller, which will be, I said, I'll link the products below. But the Mirror Pure official website email is service at mirrorpure.co.uk or facebook.com slash mirrorpure and WhatsApp plus 86 137-203-61436. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for me. My awkward review of this. That's all I gotta do to put it on my face. But it's still hot. Um, this weird, awkward, kind of cringy video. I will see you guys in the next video. Just not this one, because this one is over. I am taking that from PC Locks again. Because I like it. But I'm not going to keep it. I need to figure out a good intro or outro. I look like General Organa. A in peace. And a galaxy far, far away. I might just keep the, the bun way up here like that. So anyway. I will let you guys go. I will see you in the next video. Like I said, everything will be linked below if possible. Um, for some reason if the seller doesn't have listed, I'll find another one. If by the same brand. Um, I will try like the brush too. I don't have it with me, like I said. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else I need to review or you're curious about, let me know and I'll try it. So, this definitely like I said, works for me. And I think it would work for most anybody unless you have really thick curly hair. I don't know if it would necessarily work for that. I would look for a more professional one. Um, I'm not sure if the in-styler is considered professional. I hear a lot of people say that works good too. So, but you know, infomercials. But that thing is like 80 bucks. So, for $29.99 and a free brush, I'm happy with this. So, and a free love, which I don't need. If you need a heat safe glove or like a Love that helps protect from the heat so you can bake a lot or something. I don't know. If you want to let me know because I'm not going to use it. It doesn't get hot enough for me to bother my my handicles, okay? My phalanges. So, I'm going to sit it on top of its velvet case until it cools down with the box open and I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. So, see you in the next video. Oh, the beeping is the brush. It's not the air conditioner. So. It's all tucked in for the night. I'll sit it over here away from the animals so they won't get burned. It's almost just about cooled down. And it's been about four minutes since I turned it off. But I had it on the highest, next to the highest setting. And I had it on there for a little while, so I'm not expecting it to immediately be cool. If it was on like the lowest setting for like the fine hair or the bleached hair, I, I don't think it would take that long to cool down at all. So. Bye guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm just going to cut it off before I keep rambling. Alright, since I did my hair earlier, I'm going to test it out on his hair, which is a lot wavier and curlier than mine. He's actually brushed his hair, so it's not as curly. But I'm going to go through it with the ionic part first, and then I'll turn the uh, temperature part on to where it actually straightens. This hair isn't as thick as mine, but it's a lot more curly. So, um, can you come here and like, face me? Yeah, you have to bend down because uh, the camera's down low.
I'm gonna do half just to show a comparison. This is just to get the static and everything on. That's what the bionic part is for. And it helps friends. It will help yours. Well, it's doing a little bit. That's why you, if you will hear a little whir in there, it'll buzz. Kind of like it bowling alley when the fan. Alright, I'm gonna turn on the heat. It's gotta stop flashing. Flashing, and then it'll stop, and that's when it'll be ready to work. It's going to 450. No. It just takes a couple minutes. It doesn't take it long at all. Nope. Alright, it is ready to go. And you want to brush your brush it. Ah, uh, yeah, of course you're going to mess it. Wait, you're good. Oh, you're good. I think his hair's wavy. It gets thicker down here, but it was a lot curlier, so we got that out. So. I use the highest setting because your hair is so wavy, as I recommend. One time you went to the salon and you got a haircut and you decided to get it straight and then you looked like a heavy metal rocker because it was so long. Mm -hmm. I thought they would shape it or something. Okay. I'm just supposed to take it off and section it and clip it up and all that stuff. I'm doing sections but I'm not like clipping it. I feel you point to me now. I was trying to get the sideburn. <laughs> yeah, like real close to my forehead. So if this is straight as it's going to get for him, compare that to that, for $30, and it's on its highest setting, we'll go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to do the other side. I'm walking around like this. No, it's, <laughs> it'll, it's, not, it's not permanent. But for thirty dollars, I mean, that's like pretty good. And you run your fingers through it; it's not tangled at all. So it's actually smooth. It's hard to feel. Oh no! <laughs> wow! You got Sweeney Todd on this side. <laughs> Sweeney Todd on this side, and. Thor on this side. He's got this length hair and it curls at the bottom. 
Do you want me to do the other side? Well, once you sleep on the night, it's gonna go. So, Alright, so what would you rate this? A 1 out of 10 for your first experience, ease of use, click factor of all that in for you. Well, really well you saw me use it. All you do is brush it through your hair. For 30 bucks? Yeah, and I got a free brush that you seen with your hair. That's it's about. It's about that. We have a problem with him keeping in frame. So. Yeah, the well, the camera is really low because we're in the bedroom yeah, while my son's watching. Hair taller than her, so I'm having to down like this. Actually, get in frame to get down to her eye level. Because you can't see much of her symptoms. <laughs> so, anyway. We'll go on the other side. I won't take as long. Basically. Once again, this was on the highest setting. So if you have, like I said earlier, if you got blonde hair, you don't need, or really thin hair, do not use the highest setting because it might fry your hair off. I don't know what'll happen, but. Did you do a guide and instruction manual? Almost like the for high setting. <laughs> no, I used it earlier for my hair. My hair's than yours. I actually had it up like this. I don't like general or Ghana. It was really cool. Like, yeah, because it's laying down. Or I guess it's not general or Giving me like James May vibes, like it's straight lips, a little bit away from That's the whole head done as best as I can without like clipping it and taking it like a longer time to do it. So that took what five minutes or so per side. I mean, I think that's pretty good considering. So it don't look that bad. It doesn't look as bad, especially when the curl, if the curl underneath when you straightened it. Like this out. I thought we were gonna like chop it and cut it or something. I just shampooed and blowed you out and looked off frizzy. You didn't know what she was doing. What's up, Dollar? Yeah, it's not tangled at all. I turned my fingers through it without him saying, ow! Or. My hair versus his hair with the thing you saw mine earlier, and you see his now. Much worse shape. Yeah, but I don't care for my hair. You're a poet. You didn't even know it. Yep. So anyway, I think it, like I said, it works good for thirty bucks. Link will be in the description below. Not sponsored. Wish it was, but anyway, that's that. See you later. Bye, guys. Later. Okay, quick update with the hair straightener tool um, for John's hair, for Lazy and PC. Um, we had a lot of humidity outside because it's the south, but it's really kind of hot and muggy, and it's rained a ton today. And as soon as he went outside, it frizzed back up. But um, I'm sure if you use product in it or something, it would probably stay a little bit longer. I just wanted to add that in. I still think the product is a pretty good product. Um, so. With that, I kind of, I'm going to like demote it a little bit to like an 8.5 or a 9, but it's still worth the money for me. That's, that's, you get what you pay for, and it's not like a professional, professional one. But I just wanted to let you know, in mine, obviously, I've had in a bun, 
um, since I did my video, so it's gonna be wavy probably. Let's just double check, shall we? Because it was a little damp when I straightened it, so yeah, you can see it's wavy. So yeah, that's how you get like some natural waves in your hair if you want them. Just damp your hair a little bit and put it in a little bun for a while if you can, and there you go. And when I do this, since I've been doing it, I don't know if it's because I've been doing it so long or it's just the way my hair is. If I brush it a certain way, like if I brush and twirl down, I can actually do natural drill curls, like in the anime. And that just drives, drives Lazy PC crazy because he loves drill curls. So, yeah. Non pro tip that's just me and my hair. It's not oily or greasy or dry or anything. It's relatively healthy considering I bleached it myself and all that good stuff. I don't have a lot of breakage. I just have some split ends that I need to get trimmed. So, I thought I. But I just wanted to add a quick update to the situation. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. Still thumbs up for this product. Link below. Etc. Etc. You've heard all this before. Mwah.